Good morning again, everybody. Welcome back to Lily Lulu. If it's your first time visiting, my name is Karen. I'm the Junk Journal Geek, and I'm carrying on today with my design team project for Sunny Creates using her Delft Blue kit. I think that's right. I'll leave all the information in the description box below so that you can find out more about that. But I've done a few um, little videos on this so far and I seem to be really struggling on camera to work on this one. So I have done quite a bit um, off camera with this journal, but you'll see what I've done, um, you know, when I do the final flip through at the end. I'm trying to flatten a piece of paper under my um, mat here and it's throwing me. <laughs> Right, so I'm, I need to start working on the cover. Now, initially, I did think I would use this um, Amazon envelope and use the flappy bit at the side there as a closure. But now that I've got my, pa my pages sort of almost finished, there's not going to be enough room to do that. So it's just going to be a normal, um, a normal affair. So um, first of all, I'm going to chop this flappy edge off um, so that we've just got a normal straight edge here. So hopefully if I line that up there, that should help me get a straight-ish line. So how are you all today? I hope you're all happy and well. It's my eldest granddaughter's birthday today, so I will be heading over there later on to give her her presents and eat pizza, <laughs> which is what she's requested. And I'm going to make, I was going to start it actually before I turned the camera on, but I felt like I'd never get this done if I didn't just do it this morning. Um, I'm making a a crumble to take with me when I go so I thought I just I've just given Max a quick run I got very wet and all this rain um, and I thought I'll come home do this video and then get on with my crumble so this is the fabric that I'm using to cover my journal or cover the cover so I'm going, what I'm going to do is just stick this um, card down just with glue stick to hold it in place. Then I'll trim the excess off and then I will stitch around this, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. So but let's get some glue on it first um, so that we can get started. So I'm desperately trying to get this journal finished because, well, A, it's taken me almost the whole month to do this month's design team project. But then I am, I know I'm very slow at making journals. I don't get as much time as I'd like to um, sit and craft. Although I'm trying to make make myself sit and craft more this year um, and learn the things I want to learn and do the things I want to do. So there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am, I am slow with my journals because I don't get the time that I would like normally to get on with things. Um, so I need to get this one finished so that I can get on with my collaboration project. Um, I did mention in my last video I um, had been invited to take part in a collaboration with Vows Crafts Creations. I always have trouble saying that. Um, which I'm really looking forward to doing but my video has to go up on a specific day obviously as with most collaborations and um, I need to get on and finish the project that I'm working on for that. So stay tuned if you're not subscribed and um, you enjoy what I'm doing, 
please do subscribe and uh, leave a little like on the video. I always forget to ask people to do that. And I know myself, when I'm watching um, YouTube, you know, you, you get you get engrossed in what you're watching and sometimes it's easy to forget to do those simple things just to leave a like um even better if you have the time to leave a comment because that tells youtube that you really are interested in the video um and to subscribe because it all helps our channels grow um i'm just wondering if this fabric has a right and a wrong way up because i didn't even think Mind you, it doesn't matter because there isn't a right and a wrong way up for the cover yet, is there? I think it goes that way. Um, yeah, so I always, you know, I know that I do tend to um, forget to do that when I'm watching you, especially if I'm watching on the TV. Um, I can't, obviously, I'm pretty sure I can't comment and I've never seen a way to like on the TV. So if you know how to do that, please let me know. Um, so, yeah, I think I need to trim this now to size. And then I'm just wondering whether to stick everything down that I'm going to stick down before I stitch or if I should stitch and then stick everything down. I think I will stitch and then do the inside. Um, that is the way I usually work. I'm trying to look for my piece. I had a piece of card that I'm going to use for the inside covers. And I can't see where it is now. Where are you hiding, piece of card? Come on, show yourself. So I'm just rummaging off to the side in my pile of bits that I've pulled together for this journal i'm trying to be more organized this year as well with my journal making and pop everything together for each journal in a little um plastic wallet so that i you know because i do have to switch between journals sometimes yes i have this piece of card i'm not sure if it's going to be big enough but i thought i might be able to cover Although it's not really the right blue for the, you know, to match the material, but I suppose that doesn't really matter, does it? Um, and it, and then I was going to, so if this card is going over the inside, if I can make it work, if I can make it go far enough. Um, and then I thought I might have this as a pocket. possibly on the inside i haven't decided 100 percent yet sorry i'm a bit low down aren't i yeah that might be a pocket or part of this might be a pocket maybe like that um my journal's going to go in here and what i'm going to do um i want this as a little flip or a tip in on the front page um, and it's probably so subtle on the screen you probably can't even see any difference but this is um it's a bit sh glittery shy it's not glittery but it's got a bit of a shine to it and it just looks like you're looking through the window out into the garden where she's collecting her flowers so i wanted that on there um just for a bit of zhuzh and then i had one for the back here as well um i did have one and probably used it somewhere else forgotten what i was going to do and i've probably stuck it in somewhere else but i may do the same thing on the back here i'm not sure yet so that's where i am at the moment that's my thoughts at the moment so I, i'm just gonna turn you off for a moment and i shall i think i'll go and stitch this fabric now and then we'll see where we go from there so i'll be back in a moment hello i'm back again so i have um attached my fabric to my journal cover base um as i said i just trimmed this piece so it was roughly 
um, an inch all the way round beyond the edge of the cardboard. Um, then I glued the, um, I just put glue stick on the cardboard and affixed it to the fabric to hold it into place. I turned over the corners first, stuck those down, then stuck the long edges down and then the short edges. It's just the way I normally work. And then I have stitched um, all around the edge just with the running stitch, just to make sure that that is all securely attached. So I think that looks quite nice. But now this piece is not going to be big enough to go over the whole of the inside. Um, I could have left the fabric longer to make sure that it covered, but I didn't. So my options are, if I'd have stuck one piece over the whole back, then I could just stitch my signatures straight in here. And the, um, the threads will show on the spine, but then I was planning anyway to stick, um, I had a piece of fabric that I want, possibly this one. I, was it this one? Or was I gonna do a pocket with that? I had a piece, these fabrics are out of my um, little slow stitch kit from Betty and Ivy. Um, Oh, maybe it was that piece. I thought it was a piece of lace that I had out. Sorry, I'm stretching over the camera. Was it that applique? No, it must have been that then. I thought it was something else. Um, yeah, I thought that if this, if the um, stitching shows down there, I could pop this on um, afterwards. So it will cover up the stitching Obviously, it will look pretty on there. Um, and it would just add a bit more interest to the cover. So that's a possibility. But if I don't put one complete piece over there, I can cut this down, have a piece on this side, a piece on this side, and then I can use my usual binding method, which is to... Uh, stitch my signatures onto a, a piece of card so they would be stuck they would be stitched onto there and then stick that in and then you won't see the stitching on the outside so with that in mind I've just had a rummage through my card um, I was looking through all my off cuts to see if I had anything that would work and um, what I did find now I'm not sure if this is going to work or not let's right, come on, Karen, let's get organized we've been faffing all over the place here so if that is going to be used as the lining and I may change my mind in a moment my signatures are going to go there oopsie now I was getting all these bits out and I found this pad of paper. It's 180 GSM, so I think it will be enough. And in here there is, well, there's this blue, but I think it's, a, I don't think it's blue enough. It's like, it's got a little greeny tinge to it. Um, but there's also this sparkly, and I thought it might go because I've got this sparkly sheer thing. Actually, that's definitely too green. So, and they're the only colours in there. So, right, we can discard those. Process of elimination. I could go for just basic craft card because, you know, this journal has got um, brown tones in it. The kit has got brown tones in it with the blue. So that is an option. And you won't see an awful lot of this. Um, you know, say this was my binding. By the time the signatures are actually on there, you're not going to see very much of this 
whatever I use at all. So then I found this, which is a sort of bluey and it is Tim Holtz, which I do usually like to use for my bindings. So I could use that. Um, but now I've gone through all these different, I don't feel like any of them go with this, which was my initial option. So what I might do, I've got a full sheet here of Tim Holtz. I think that might bl blend better with this fabric. If I decide to put the pocket on, I think that's still going to look okay. Um, and I could have my three pieces out of this so it would all match. So I think I might use this, which I didn't want to do because I haven't got much of the Tim Holtz paper left and it's beautiful on the back. But I do have another sheet of this. So, and I mean, I did buy it to use it. But I really wanted to use this. <laughs> so um, I'm in an ring. So what I might do, I think I'm going to cut this down as if I am going to use it and cut a piece of this as if it's going to be my middle. I'll see what that looks like and then I'll see what it looks like if I cut this down to have three pieces. So I'll be back in a moment. I'm back again. The reason I um, went off camera to do that is because I needed to use my guillotine and I can't get that under my um, camera on the desk. There's not enough room on my desk at the moment. If you're wondering what this paper is, I don't know if it's still available, but that was the um, strip that identifies it. So if you wanted to take a screenshot of that now, you could try and find it if you wanted to. Um, so now I've got my two options. I've got this little excess piece, which I can use as a little pocket or tag or something somewhere so that everything's gonna blend in. So now I can either have this piece as my spine and then these pieces will go either side. Um, obviously they will be placed neatly and lined up I'm just doing this very roughly at the moment and so then these would go here here that's option one see I feel like this paper brings in the colors of this kit um, better or I hope you're all shouting at me and telling me what you think so I can't hear you <laughs> or I can have the whole thing in the same papers um, and have this here and now I'm looking at that probably everyone will disagree but I'm going to go with my original of these so that's what I'm going to do so my next um, job is to attach the papers to my spine piece. Um, and then once I've sewn those in, I will add these pieces. I'm really, really undecided about this because I'm really not sure about this with this, but I like this with this. <laughs> so. Maybe I should have gone with another fabric in the first place. But if I have my pockets going across here, if I do have pockets, I'm still undecided. Picked up the back piece. Oh, where's it gone? It's there, Karen, staring at you. Yes, I've had that over there. I don't know if this is all going to be too bitty or not. That there that there that's going to be there hmm thinking thinking so let's get the signatures 
sewn in. Right, I think um, you've seen me sew in signatures before. So I think I will go and do that off camera. Um, and then I'll come back and show you how far we've got. Um, I'm, I think I'm changing my mind about this pocket now because I would have to cut it down to fit and then I wouldn't have the nice pieces in the middle because it's too long to just put on in one piece. Um, so that's one decision made. But I'm just wondering if maybe that should be a pocket on the front. And then I could leave the excess on. That might look pretty. So I may do that. So I'm going to put you on pause again. Um, I'm not sure how long this video has been. And I'll sew the signatures in. And then I'll come back and show you what I've done. Okay, I'm back again. I've sewn my signatures to my binding. I'm glad that I put you on pause while I did it because I was making the most ridiculous mistakes. I sewed all my signatures together um, without attaching them to the binding. <laughs> so I had to unpick it all and do it again. So you would have been here forever if you'd have been watching me. It's probably taken me I don't know how long it's taken me I haven't even looked at the clock I don't know what the time is so I'm just going to stick this binding now to the um, cover and then I'm going to leave it there for today and not do any more because I need to go and get on with my baking and I feel like um, I'm, the universe is telling me to take a break because I'm making silly mistakes so I am going to use what am I going to use when I make my hardback journals I always use fabric glue and double-sided tape to do the covers but because this is a smaller journal it's only two signatures um, I have I've lost count of how many pages I've got in here but usually when I make my hardback journals they are four signatures with 15 sheets of paper in each so it's like 240 page book um so obviously it needs to be a bit more robust you, you know it needs to have a bit more staying power this um right and before I start sticking I need to make sure which of these looks the best? Which side looks the best? Um, yeah, so um, I don't think I need to do all belt and braces, you know, with this. I think just using the fabric glue should be enough. Famous last words. <laughs> well, we'll do it and... Um, I'll stick it in and leave it to dry. I'm just putting some glue all round this binding piece. And it's quite a wide binding piece for the size of journal as well. So I'm sure that this will be enough to do the job. Um, and I'm going to put some glue along the fabric there in the middle. So hopefully this will all be enough. Now this is the tricky part, trying to centre everything and make sure it all looks sort of square. So I'm going to go sideways so I can try and make sure I've got this sort of central. Um, the good thing about not using double sided tape is you do have a bit more wiggle room because the double sided tape obviously sticks immediately so I'm just going to check where that looks like it is that looks okay so I've put the glue in the wrong place on the fabric but we'll worry about that in a minute 
press that down and press that one down and then I'll go in the middle and press that down so that should be nicely stuck now I'm just going to grab a wet wipe I've just ripped the whole packet open marvellous I'll wipe off that excess glue before it dries. I'm going to say I'll leave this all to dry and um, if it looks like it needs more of anything, I'll come back in and sort that out afterwards. But I think that will probably be okay. So let's just give it a good old burnish. And I hope it is straight. I, my biggest trick when making journals is I usually go very slightly wonky at this point and it looks okay but then when you actually sort of close the book and look at it you can see that your pages are not straight but that does look okay at the moment so hopefully hopefully we're all right so I'm just going to give this a good old burnish. Got some more glue oozing out there. I'll do the same on the other side. So this is um, going to be a sort of a sort. If it was a, you know, a book in a bookshop, this would be considered a, a, a paperback, um, because the although it's cardboard, it is sort of bendy card. Got all the threads sticking to me, left, right, and centre. Um, so then my next job will be deciding on how I want to decorate the cover and that's always fun isn't it me decorating stuff and obviously I've got to go through and make um ephemera for pockets and things you know journal cards tags all that sort of thing so I think that's looking okay at the moment um I might want to put my lid back on my glue perhaps so um when this is all dried, I will be adding these pieces on the inside front cover and the inside back cover to finish that off. Um, in the meantime, I will think about whether I do want pockets or anything on there. Um, as I say, and then it will be making some journal cards and tags and deciding what to do decoration wise with the cover. So I hope you found that interesting. Um, it feels like a really bitty video today because I've stopped so many times. Um, so I hope it's been OK for you. <laughs> um, oh, yes, I did add this um, little tip in on the front it's barely noticeable until you lift it and I trimmed the top with some lace you know to make it look like it was a little curtain type affair um, I stitched that in before I uh, stitched the pages to the binding so I'm going to leave that there today thank you very much for joining me um, stay safe look after yourselves I'll be back in a few days in the meantime enjoy your own crafty time Bye-bye.